here we are with um, this this episode of Into the Dojo versus, and uh, our special guest today is Mr. Toshiyuki Ito. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, submission art wrestling practitioner and you own the MMA Ito Dojo in Australia. Yep. And uh, you have over 40 years of martial arts uh, and physical training experience and also teaching experience. Am I right? Yep. 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 That's all. Right. <laughs> all right. So um, could you please tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Who yeah, are you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, my name is Toshio Kito. Uh, uh, I'm from uh, uh, Tokyo, Japan, and uh, I'm uh, uh, I came to Australia uh, 1993 uh, wow, to make okay. uh, yeah to make my uh, uh, martial arts uh, club, and uh, I'm uh, um, submission arts wrestling uh, Australian branch chief, and I have mm -hmm. a, yeah like you said uh, um. Uh, I have uh, my own martial arts club uh, called uh, MMA Ito Dojo. Yeah. Okay. Um, so can I ask you a bit about your background? So you said you are the Submission Arts Wrestling or SAW branch chief in Australia. Yep. Is Submission Arts Wrestling your only martial art or did you practice other styles before that? Um, yeah, I started actually martial arts uh, when I was uh, 10 years old, about uh, 10 years old. So uh, judo. judo. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then, uh, yeah, uh, in when I was in uh, high school, mm -hmm. uh, I had this man. He was uh, doing judo and uh, uh, sambo wrestling, Russian sambo wrestling, Olympic wrestling, and uh, him and uh, his uh, uh, few students are practicing um, grappling style mm -hmm. uh, against uh, strikers. Really? Yeah. Um, and actually, that was the man uh, became my uh, lifetime martial arts instructor, uh, submission arts wrestling uh, founder, uh, Shihan Hidetakaso. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, mm -hmm. so you started with judo, and then as yep. a teenager, you found out that they were doing this crazy yeah, yeah. mixed grappling system and yeah, yeah, fighting because, against strikers. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah, what was happening is, uh, uh my uh, high school was very mm -hmm. rough. You live mm -hmm. in Japan, do you? Yeah, I live in Osaka. Yeah, yeah. Osaka. Yeah. I think uh, most of uh, uh, school in Japan is uh, very nice and uh, students uh, behave in the nice, quiet school. But Nowadays. back then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, back then, <laughs> so rough, so rough. Um, mm -hmm. Fighting uh, started uh, all the time and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, very rough. Sometimes uh, weapon involves. So yeah, that was okay mm -hmm. because I'm uh, um, doing judo. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was always trouble if I against uh, more than one opponent mm -hmm. in a street fight. I mean, straight in really? school, in a school. Yeah. Okay. Because in that school, yeah, very rough. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I thought I need to learn and uh, practice some striking uh, technique. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, then I, yeah. Then I had uh, about. Uh, uh, Shihan Aso, then, mm -hmm. oh, this is it. I, I wanted to learn and uh, I want to train with him. Yeah, then yeah. I went to, yeah, I went to him. That's great. Um, actually, so let me ask you about growing up in high and in, in being a high school student in Japan in like, what was it, the 70s, 80s? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 80s, 70s, yeah, 70s, yeah. So you said it was rough, and then there was sometimes you had to fight multiple people, or yeah, you had to yeah. fight people with weapons. How often did that happen when you were a teenager? Oh, uh, with me, not not every day, but uh, mm -hmm. 
uh, some fights happen every day somewhere. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes uh, student uh, and teacher, and lots of really? times poli- yeah, police came and uh, on the news uh, lots of times at the school. Actually, very uh, famous. Really. Yeah. yeah. And now so, that mm-hmm. the school is not there anymore because uh, people had the bad uh, reputation, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, no one wants to go there. That that school is gone. My school is not there anymore. That's un like maybe it's good and also unfortunate. Like not so good because no, not good. Maybe that rough atmosphere maybe made a lot of strong willed and hearted people <laughs> yeah, yeah that's how i i uh, yeah made me oh i have to be strong <laughs> something mm. like that yeah mm. that's very different from high schools nowadays and high school students nowadays man that's interesting yeah oh, man. um yeah yeah, yeah i i uh talks about this, uh, no one believes this. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. It it feels like high schools in America, the way you explain it, it's like, ah, this sounds familiar. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you're uh, from the USA? Yeah, I'm from the US. Oh, okay. So like you, how you were telling stories about like fights every day and teachers and students and groups of students and police mm-hmm. coming, that was my high school. Ah oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that okay. was my high school. So American style, the American style in Japan. That's why it didn't yeah. last very long. Yeah, that's why. That's why. Okay, so then you discover submission arts wrestling and your your mm-hmm. master, and you said yeah. it was a combination yeah. of like uh, com, um, sambo and judo and jujitsu and wrestling and all these things. Um, can you talk a little bit about your master? Hidetaka yeah, Aso. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's the founder of uh, Submission Arts Wrestling. And he he has a, a judo fifth dan, uh, Russian Sambo Association seventh dan, mm. uh, uh, Japan Wrestling Association sixth dan. Uh, and he trained uh, lots of uh, uh, famous uh, martial artists mm-hmm. like. Um, uh, Sambo World Champions, uh, Wrestling Champions, uh, catch, catch Wrestlers, Shoot Wrestlers, and uh, Muay Thai Legends. Yeah, yeah. then yeah, he took all a uh, uh, good part, a useful part, into mm-hmm. yeah, submission to wrestling. Okay. So it feels like, um, and when when was it that Hidetaka uh, Shihan created hmm. uh, commission, uh, submission arts wrestling. Yeah, when did he create it? When uh, when I just started uh, joining with him, mm-hmm. he didn't call uh, submission arts wrestling. He mm-hmm. just uh, asked dojo, um, mm-hmm. no name. Then just after I started uh, joining, he named uh, this uh, just uh, submission arts. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Then after a few years' time, then he put the wrestling in the end. So it's called the submission arts wrestling. Yeah, because he wanted to uh, people to know this style is a uh, grappling uh, art uh, base. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so people can hear submission arts wrestling. Oh, that's wrestling, wrestling. Uh, uh. Your microphone muted. I'm calling me. All right, got it. Yeah, yeah, right, no problem. Yeah. So after, so he first started as Aso Dojo, and then it became Submission Arts Wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Submission Arts first, then after a few years, Submission Arts Wrestling. Wow. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. Why? Why did oh. uh, Aso Sensei want to create his own uh, dojo? Yeah, this style. Yeah. Yes. Uh, because I think uh, he, um, after he trained uh, 
uh, like few uh, martial arts. Like he started the judo, then sambo, then wrestling, a sumo wrestling. Uh, then he he uh, realized uh, every grappling art got uh, uh, submission technique like arm lock, uh, joint locks, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, there's no style. Uh, complete grappling uh, system back, back mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only like judo got uh, very good uh, takedown throws, good mm -hmm. submission uh, arm locks, chokes, but uh, no leg locks uh, and uh, uh, relying on uh, lots of uh, holding. Mm -hmm. And the sambo, uh, they're not allowed to do like chokes uh, in a competition. Mm -hmm. uh, Olympic wrestling, they got the uh, yeah, great uh, takedowns, but uh, no complete um, uh, submission techniques. So mm -hmm. he, yeah, he thought uh, if there's no complete grappling system, he would try to make one and uh, start doing uh, uh, competitions as well. Mm -hmm. and, and also he wanted to do this uh, very useful for a street situation, self-defense situation mm -hmm. as well. So mm -hmm. um, he focused on uh, against uh, uh, strikers. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, blocking uh, and uh, uh, counter takedown throws, then finishing the ground, something like that. Okay. Yeah. So there so was like like, mm -hmm. like MMA now because yeah. because back that time there's no MMA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh. That makes sense. So for him, it was like a combination of sport and self-defense, right? Kind of that yeah, mix. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he wanted to make uh, like a Budo concept, but mm. the sports side as well. So you can improve um, the through competitions as well. Okay. I think there was a lot of um, systems or martial arts created in Japan around that time, around the 70s and 80s, that really had that, that focus, like sport and budo together. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so we were talking about rules, and you, were, you said that there are many rules in um, different cuts, wrestling or grappling systems, like some things that you can't do. So what are some, what are the rules for SAW? What can you do and what can't you do in uh, a competition? Most of submission you can do in the competition, uh, SAW competitions, uh, mm -hmm. except like uh, finger submissions or uh, single toes. Yeah, single toes, toes, mm -hmm. single toes. Yeah, but uh, any other ones, uh, yeah, you can do. Okay. So mm. like uh, heel hooks, heel holds. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot I of those see. things that you can't do in other styles. <laughs> yeah, that's why leg lock. Our leg locks are very uh, um powerful, strong, and specialized. Mm. That. Yeah. Okay. Um. So there's uh, Hiritaka Sensei's S A W N. Also, there's another kind of grappling system. I think that started around the same time, or maybe a little bit later. It was a uh, Noriaki Kikuchi Sensei's combat wrestling. Yep. Now, yeah. are there? Can you tell me what the differences of are between those two styles? Are they more similar? Are they more similar, or are they different? Yeah, I think uh, that they're very similar together. Uh, mm -hmm. Very similar. Uh, part of the competition side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very similar. Um, but uh, we focus more like Japanese style, Japanese uh, martial arts style. Mm -hmm. uh, like, like one example is uh, uh, we don't wear uh, shoes in the uh, competition, but the mm -hmm. day they wear shoes. The rest of like, yeah. Yeah, more like uh, uh, American or uh, Western style, but uh, yeah, we are Japanese style. And also, uh, we focus more on uh, to improve the uh, mental part, or mm -hmm. you know, uh, 
uh, like Budo, Budo, uh, follow Budo concepts. Uh, not, I... ju not just uh, focusing on uh, competitions or fighting, but uh, that's uh, just a part of the, your journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, more like improve as a person. So mm -hmm. not only uh, doing when you are young, but the lifetime improvement. Okay. And also try to you know try to uh, give uh, young people to uh, op uh, opportunities to uh, you know uh, to give them like motivation for life and uh, uh, teach them manners, good manners. Like, you know, my, oh. my uh, school's students. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> needed better manners. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, discipline, yeah. discipline, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so like, from what I hear, SAW has a lot to offer. It's a, it's a good combination of the Budo. It has good, sports and it's also really good for self-defense from how you explained it yeah, yeah why why don't we see more gyms i think uh, what's happening is uh, uh bjj is a uh, very popular now after mm -hmm. the uh gracie family yeah uh, started fighting uh, mm -hmm. ufc um then uh people think uh, bjj is the uh, best best uh, grappling system mm -hmm. and uh, BJJ club gyms everywhere everywhere yeah yeah, yeah. and now and also uh Shihan Aso mm -hmm. um he he doesn't he's not really interested in commercializing uh, uh submission as wrestling mm -hmm. um he he just uh, want to keep this as a budo mm -hmm. yeah I think I those are reasons, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I agree with you when you say that uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is really popular. It's like everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere. Uh, everywhere. But I, the, when BJJ first became popular, like it was, the focus was maybe self-defense and some sport. But now it's all sport and little self-defense. Yeah. That's right. That's right. More like sports, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thinking it like think of thinking of it like that, I think SAW because it has a better balance of sport, budo, and self defense. It's like here. It's like very balanced. I think it would be better because it has everything that BJJ has and a little extra. Mm. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So I think it's unfortunate that there's no, there aren't more SAW gyms. There are some in Japan, yeah, in some. America, yeah. in the UK. So mm -hmm. it's just a little difficult to find. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, are there any MMA fighters um, or past MMA fighters that had a SAW background? Any popular fighters? Some people might know. Uh, no, I can't think anyone. I'll see if I can't find some and, and add it to the video somewhere. Mm. Okay. Um, so when you were training, did you have a lot of fights or did you compete a lot in SAW mm. or against other styles? What yeah, was yeah, it like? Competing. Oh, competing all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, uh, you know, of course, uh, grappling uh, competitions, uh, judo, sambo, wrestling, yeah, lots of competitions, and mm -hmm. yeah, SAW competitions as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, fighting against other styles. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't uh, tell you too much, because back that time, uh, mm -hmm. you know, martial arts organizations are very isolated uh, um each um each organization they're not really yeah. uh connect connected yeah i think mm. yeah too much ego i don't know 
uh, they don't want to get defeated. You know, pe- uh, uh, they, uh, but yeah, yeah, Shihana so, also, yeah, mm-hmm. he wanted. He what he thought. Mm-hmm. We need we need to exchange the skills and uh, you know test uh, against other uh, martial arts style. So that's how you improve and mm-hmm. evolve evolve uh, uh, skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. we uh, uh, co- uh, did the competitions not for public mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, not telling like to the public. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, so, so there was some secret fights that happened with some yeah, yeah like mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, famous, <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> against the famous um, yeah karate organization or you know the ah um, okay um <laughs> with I, <laughs> something like that. you have some memories some maybe fond or some good memories of those times it seems. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I had lots of good experience. Yeah, mm. yeah that okay. became my asset. I see. Um, you were saying that like um, there was a lot of exchange between different styles. Yeah. Um, and there was also some between like um, SAW and Daidojuku, maybe even Parestra in the 80s. So what was it that kind of brought those kind of organizations together at that time? Like uh, Dairojuku and Parestra and SAW? Yeah, um, uh, around the 80s, uh, Dairojuku, uh, they are doing mainly uh, standing up fight, uh, like, mm-hmm. um, yeah, just uh, striking and a little bit of takedown and the throws. But mm-hmm. uh, you know, Dai Dojuku uh, found uh, Azuma Sensei. Yeah. He he just passed away uh, uh, last year, I think. Yeah, last yeah. year. He yeah he wanted to make uh, uh, Dai Dojuku more all round fighting. Mm-hmm. Uh, like uh, you know, st- uh, striking mainly striking, but uh, you you can handle grappling situations. That's mm-hmm. what he wanted. That's what he wanted to do. Yeah, and uh, the the other hand, um, Shihan also, he wa- <laughs> he wanted to make uh, submission arts wrestling grappling uh, main part, but <laughs> handle the uh, striking Striker. situation. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, so Azma Sensei, um, he asked to uh, uh, Shihan also, um, to come to. Uh, Dai Dojo Headquarter Dojo to teach us mm-hmm. uh, to start teaching um, uh, grappling to uh, Dai Dojo students. Ah, uh, uh, I see. That's how that's how um, him and uh, I started uh, going to Dai Dojo Headquarter mm-hmm. Dojo to teach uh, grappling. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, and I trained okay. uh, in uh, Dai Dojo, uh, you know. Uh, Student as well, st- uh, striking. So we exchange mm-hmm. uh, skills. Okay, yeah. um, that's good. What was it like uh, training at headquarters and kind of that exchange? Dai Dojuku. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was fun. It's good. The back then, the the lots of nice people, good fighters in Dai mm-hmm. Dojuku. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure you know uh, the people around the book at that time, but uh, yeah, nice, uh, good people there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. seen the videos. Some some strong people. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, trying trying with them, and uh, was good, good to experience. Yeah, I learned a lot. Okay, good. Mm. Um, is it is it um. My uh, room is a bit dark, isn't it? That's you a little to... dark. Do you have the uh, light, light, maybe? Light on? Better? Oh, much better. <laughs> much yeah, better, much, yes. Much better, yeah. Okay. Um, so, my 
Next question. I think we've already answered some of the questions that I've had. Um, so you were a direct student of Hidetaka Aso. What was it like training under him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I had a lot of uh, precious time with uh, uh, him, tra uh, training under him. Mm -hmm. yeah, so training was uh, uh, hard, you know, old style, uh, yeah. Japanese style. Yeah, mm -hmm. three hours. Uh, about three hours training uh, every day, um, night mm -hmm. time. Uh, of course, uh, not no drinking water. You're rough, yes. Yeah, my old dojo, the SAW old dojo, was kind of middle of middle of rice field. Mm -hmm. You know, rice field. It's yeah, I know where I've seen rice field. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that, that dojo was wasn't in Tokyo, next to Tokyo, Saitama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, the the few uh, rice field and uh, the and the farms. Uh, Back that time, uh, and, I see. Uh, this uh, we we uh, uh, hire uh, rent this judo dojo to train, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, this judo dojo was middle of in rice field, so forth. Yeah. But maybe and rent that, was very cheap. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah, and uh, yeah, I I learned uh, lots of things, not just uh, uh, fighting. Uh, skills, but uh, you know, life skills, mm. uh, discipline, uh, good manners. Um, yeah, those things because the spending uh, lots of time with uh, him, mm -hmm. um, not just uh, in uh, training. Mm. He actually he he took us uh, to dinner every night after training. And mm. talking, talking a lot. He was talking a lot, teaching us uh, uh, lots of different things, um, and also, you know, taking us to meet uh, big other big uh, martial arts uh, teachers uh, mm -hmm. and um, meeting them. You know, learning yeah, good manners, mm -hmm. uh, lots of things. I think that's something that uh, you can see a lot in uh, Japanese Budo martial arts. Mm -hmm. uh, not only learning the fighting technique of the skills, but yeah, also uh, life skills and uh, just having overall good manners. It's the old training, that's something that you see a lot. Mm. Hard training. Yeah. That's a, yeah. That's important in uh, martial arts, uh, Japanese martial arts. Mm. And um, so thinking about that, much more recently, MMA is incredibly popular. There's many MMA gyms um, around the world. Um, and there's many good MMA fighters, really skilled fighters. Um, but maybe they don't really have like uh, the Budo spirit. So maybe it's not balanced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. What do you think about fighters nowadays and in comparison to fighters um, from the older days when they had like a more balanced fighter and Budo spirit? Mm. I think uh, uh, these days, uh, I think too much money, money involved. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why... Uh, uh, they're focusing um, mm. yeah, about money. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, about the paycheck. Yeah. If you, yeah, yeah. If you, I, I, I experienced that too. If you start fighting for money, mm. your you are journey uh, change a bit, like your mm -hmm. mindset. Yeah. Yeah, so you should be fighting or competing uh for your improvement mm -hmm. yeah competition yeah. is a part just a part of your journey yes uh, to, to improve in, to improve yourself not mm. uh not to the goal okay yeah. I, I agree I, I definitely agree um so since 
so now we're it's now 2020 so maybe a couple of decades after uh also since they created uh SAW has it has uh, submission arts wrestling changed since the beginning has anything been added or taken taken out mm. uh, i think um uh, SAW students in Japan now, mm. it's not really challenging to outside. Like mm. I said before, yeah. when I was uh, I was in Japan fighting, fighting uh, against lots of other uh, styles of martial arts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, now uh, I think they're just uh, staying inside. Uh, I think this happened every martial arts like judo, uh, mm. kyokushin, kyokushin karate, mm-hmm. uh, that daido this time, when they just uh, started, they are uh, competing against other style. Yeah. But uh, once uh, formed a solid style, mm-hmm. they just stay inside and focusing on their style. Mm-hmm. Yeah, judo, judo was the same. Yeah, judo is definitely the same. Do you, in your opinion, do you think that's good or maybe not so good? What do you think about that? I think the uh, same, every, same as everything. Balance mm-hmm. is uh, important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, not just just focusing inside, but you need to go out and uh, uh, yeah, challenge. Experience. Um, yeah, experience. <laughs> experience, that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree too. Um, all right, so I think I have um, maybe one more question for you. If there's anyone out there that's interested in SAW or trying to find an SAW gym maybe in their country or in their city, how do they, how do, they do it? Uh, that's a hard one, actually. There are yeah, I, many. I saved yeah. that one for last. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you, uh, Few in Japan, uh, like uh, headquarter still in uh, Saitama, um, and uh, Kansai uh, headquarter is in Osaka, uh, and uh, there's one in Fukushima. Fukushima. Yeah. The instructors they all my kohai. I used to teach them. Oh. Yeah, and. Uh, a uh, few in uh, overseas, uh, of course, uh, my dojo in Australia here, Brisbane, and mm-hmm. I got a few in uh, Gold Coast. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, actually, there's one one guy, uh, other guy teaching SAW in uh, Sydney, Australia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, I think uh, other corporate gym, not the branch, but the uh, uh, corporate gyms mm-hmm. in uh, Hawaii, in, one in Hawaii, Puerto Rico, uh, mm. Ca- Canada, yeah, somewhere like that. Okay, so there, mm. there's some gyms around the world. There's yeah, around, around the world. Uh, yeah, uh, not many though. <laughs> mm. It's a so actually, small. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, if I just started the uh, um, online training, online training uh, course, okay. yeah, so if, yeah, if people are interested in uh, learning uh, SAW, yeah, mm-hmm. if if you will be able to uh, uh, put the link or something, yeah, yeah sure, yeah. yeah. So you can say the link here, and then uh, I can add the link somewhere in the description. So mm-hmm. you can send It'll me the good. link. Yeah, I'll send you the link. Okay. So thank you very much. Now, uh, do you have a message for um, the young people or the martial artists who are growing up and they want to make this their path? Like, do you have any advice for the people? People, young people to young people? Young people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, very important to uh, do something, you know, activity, young people. Um, like me, you know, if I didn't do martial arts, I 
could go to different, you know, uh, uh, a path. different path. <laughs> yeah, yeah but bad way or something. Uh, but mm. because I found something, I uh, get this lots of passion and uh, uh, you know something you want to do. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you should do, um, especially martial arts. Martial arts got lots of different things, not just, to, you know, of course, self-defense mm -hmm. and uh, competitions, motivation for competition, mm -hmm. uh, training hard to win and you feel better, but that's just one part. Mm -hmm. Lots of different uh, things you can achieve, um, like, life skills um you know that's very important uh, mm -hmm. to learn yeah okay all right on that note i want to say thank you very much for giving me your time to uh join me with this interview today and yeah, um you. i want to thank all of my guests for coming and watching another episode of into the dojo this is your host manny signing out thank you very much mm -hmm.